Does God have a plan for your life, but you have a microwave mentality and refuse to wait on his timing and go through the pro his process? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. To find your purpose, you must go through the process. Who wants to go through negative situations in life? But recognize the power is in the process. Oftentimes, it is in those situations or experiences that we find spiritual strength and development, evolving our inner self and growing faith to faith. Those processes are often triggered by an important life event that inspires you to improve and empower yourself by discovering where your full potential lies. But in order for us to be successful, we have to trust God in its entirety. Even though it's during those times, it seems harder to hear from God or to see him in your situation. God created us not to stay stagnant, but to always be growing in him and becoming more like Jesus. Life in itself is a process and life in God is also a process. It has its stages and its growing pains. In human development, there are four key periods of growth. Infancy, early childhood years, middle childhood, and adolescence. During each of those stages, there are growing pains. Growing pains are the most common type of limb pain in children and occur in both boys and girls. The same way we go through growing pains in our natural lives, in our physical body, we go through growing pains in our spiritual growth. God's growth process can be chaotic. It's, but it's meant to mold us into what God wants us to become. Job 23.10 says, But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Job was a perfect and upright man. He feared God, yet his trial was very painful and excruciating. One might say on fear. There were times when he wanted to die. But it was not until the end of his trial that he saw God in a new way. He said in chapter 42, I have heard thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye hath seen thee. He gained a deeper relationship with God on a more spiritual level. And God blessed him, blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Job found power in the process that he went through. Listen, God is sovereign, the creator of all things, but he has given man free will. In order for God to be, to do a great work in our lives, we have to be pliable in his hands. We are the clay and God is the potter and we all are the work of his hands. We are his creation. He has a plan for our lives, but we must present, be present in the process. Trust is one of the most important attributes of our Christian walk. Trusting in God and his process is key to our faith journey. And yet for most of us, our experiences in our past can leave us scared and unsure of how to trust. It's never a good feeling going through these trials, but we must trust that all in all, God is in the process even when we can't see him. It is during these times when our faith and trust in him are tested. When we look at the three Hebrew boys in Daniel, they were tossed in the fire furnace. Their faith, but their faith in God was firm. As they stated in Daniel 3, verse 17 and 18, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. 
and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. These three Hebrew boys, the boys were willing to die for what they believed. There were nothing, nothing was going to change their hearts and their minds from worshiping their God. But notice that is, it was not the Hebrew boys who saw the angel walking around in the furnace with them. It was the king who said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. When you can't see God in the process, God will allow your enemies to see him working in your life during the trial. The three Hebrew boys found power in the process because the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. When I think of the story of Joseph and what he went through, Joseph was called out and set apart, yet was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Potiphar's wife lied on him and they cast him in prison. Each stage and process Joseph encountered, the word of God said that the Lord was with him. I can I can only imagine how much how how much he felt what he went through being sold by his brothers being lied and then tossed in prison but God had a plan for Joseph's life after all that he went through he rose up to become the second in command in Egypt so he went through he went from the pit to the palace and in every stage or in every process God was with him. So the same way God was with Joseph through his process, God will be with you. Joseph's power was in the process that he went through. He was being molded by God for his purpose. Life in itself can be chaotic, but coupled with God's process can take it to a different level. This may cause sometimes depression, uncertainties and may cause you to panic but it is in the process where the power lies it is where the growth and development happens it is in the process where we find out who we truly are i call it the molding period so i want to encourage you my friends today to allow yourself to go through the process even though you can't seem to find god while you are going through even though you may feel as if you just can't make it. Stay on course, stay on track, and stay in the race because God is molding you into what he wants you to become. He is still your potter, and you are still on the potter's wheel. So ask him to open your eyes to see his process, his blueprint for your life, and to give you clarity. So you can say unto the mountains, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.